Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 29 of my Smuggler Let's Play with Acrocur here, our little sniper. And, uh, well, uh, we're just going to be kind of cleaning up. We've done the story. We kind of finished everything uh, we needed to do. We were able to take down the Void Wolf. We saved the Republic. We now have a fleet of ships that are privateering for us, which I'm, I'm kind of hoping... If you were to continue the story uh, with the smuggler, that they would actually kind of bring that up and talk about that a little bit. That would be kind of cool. Uh, hopefully, that maybe that's something that they, they do do. I, I don't know what they got planned in the future for the story. But yeah, um, I decided to do this kind of like little extra episode because some of our uh, companions want to talk to us a little bit. Uh, we've still got, if I go to do, do, do where is um my legacy panel, I believe if I go to Republic classes. Yeah, I've still got You have to like finish their conversations in order to like fill this out. I don't know exactly what that does, but uh, oh, that actually gains, gains bonuses to your, your, your characters. So uh, I kind of want to do that. I might go do that with my Jedi counselor too. Uh, and um, this is my other character. Oh, I finished with all my, uh, those guys. And my uh, Jedi Knight he has one character I need to finish it on. But if we finish all the stories for our companions, we get little bonuses and stuff like that. So uh, I figure what I do is kind of, uh, you know, do a little uh, little cleanup, talk with some of our companions here a little bit. And then uh, if we have time, maybe maybe do a, a PvP round or a Flashpoint or something like that. Just to kind of kind of cap off our, our smuggler that we play here. So let's let's come here and let's talk with um, about our here. I have not had a family for a hundred years. On Kashyyyk, I remember we spoke of honor families. They were bound as close as any child uh, of your body. Oh, that's sweet. I think of you as family too, Bodar. You honor me, Captain. For as long as you or your children need me, I will serve as your protector. It should be another good century before I lose my edge. All right, so let's accept that. Womp. And that would be... That's not the edge of his story, is it? It is! Okay, so Bodar's done. So because of that, we get uh, plus one a presence on all my characters. What do we get for... We just get what, plus one presence for everything? Okay. What does presence actually do? Let's actually take a look at that. Uh, increases the effectiveness of your companion. So for every companion you finish the story of all the other ones get a little bit better. That's cool. I like that. That's a good way to do it. All right. Hey, Gus. You know, you're the kind of guy, you know where you stand. Either you're laughing or you're shooting. I would have done much better with someone like you. Master Lauren was just ice. You had no idea if he even knew you were in the room. The fart jokes are a dead giveaway. Yeah, Master Lauren hated those. If I'd been able to make him laugh, I wouldn't have had to be such a wretch. But you know, you say hello, you get back, study more. Then you go release Kowaki and monkey lizards in the master's mess. That's just how it goes. That's, I guess that's just how it goes there, guys. <laughs> Except that. Captain, I just want to say thank you. I could never have imagined you would put up with me for this long. When I first came on board with you, I thought it was going to be a few weeks at most before you left me on some isolated moon. Never say never. <laughs> I know you better than that. Tough facade. But underneath, you're all heart. I've never been anywhere that I got the kind of trust and respect I have from you and the rest of the crew. You're like my family. I just know we'll all be together forever. Oh, little do they know something's going to happen eventually. And is that Gus's end? It is. Okay. Apparently I just have to go and talk with them with some of my characters. Let's save Risha for last. Yari Rook claims to lead his own clan. He destroyed my clan with his slander and then dares to raise up his mishmash of slavers and pirates and call them Clan Rook. 
and no one has challenged them. Maybe you can kill him twice. Twice is a mercy. This isn't even the worst of it. The man I was with when my people fell, his clan lost all honor after I left. They joined Clan Rook. My old lover dishonors the name Mandalorian. That coward dies with the rest of Rook's filth. Once they're all dead, you'll finally be satisfied? This has never been personal. It's about justice. Rook's clan is on Hutta, bowing and scraping for the cartel. The scum have no discipline. Destroying their camp will be easy. When I'm finished, it will be as if Clan Rook never existed. I leave for Hutta immediately. Hopefully this goes well. You look, well, not exactly happy. Less angry than usual. It's over. The filth who destroyed my clan and dishonored its name is dead. Great. You can help me deal with my enemies. I welcome more worthy foes. Before he died, Rook confessed his crime. He destroyed my clan because the lie gained him a favorable contract with the Empire. He killed my people for profit, nothing more. The galaxy is no poorer without him. People who do terrible things for profit. Boy, I'm glad I don't know anyone who fits that description. <laughs> oh, no. For taking profit, always analyze the cost. I could not have avenged my people without the resources and opportunities you've provided. I will repay that debt, Captain. For the first time in months, I've allowed myself to think about the future. Someday this war must end. What will you do when the Sith Empire rules the galaxy? Will you transfer your loyalties to them? What if your profession is outlawed? I'll stay in business. If the Republic can't put a slave collar on me, neither can the Empire. How much experience do you have with the Empire's slave trade? It's highly advanced. The only constant in life is change. A warrior prepares for whatever comes. Your talent for survival is impressive, Captain. But luck has its limits. That is true. We'll be fine, though. I have no clan. And the man who destroyed it is dead. Without clan or foe, I am no longer a Mandalorian. But I am still a warrior. And great ones don't allow old age to take them. To die in battle, dragging many foes into the void. That is a good ending. What do you think, Captain? Last thing I want to do is get old and boring. Sign me up for the void. Perhaps we will go there together. A warrior's end requires a worthy foe. We should keep fighting until we find ours. Tomorrow we die. Today someone else will. Ibatur Jotne Tura Shad Kiramor. I was wrong. Context, please. When I joined your crew, I told you I would never serve another's interests again. I could not trust anyone's purpose to suit my own. I was wrong. The longer I stay, the more loyalty I feel. There is nothing in my lifetime that could make me leave your side. All right, I think she's all done now, too. I think maybe at the end, it kind of just gives you the ability just to talk to everyone until they're to finish with their their class. That's cool. I'll have to go through and do that with my other um, characters also. Every time I see you return from a mission, I thank maybe maybe get something cool for finishing it because we did get. Oh, actually, I should show you this. I, if I go to my character for a minute here and go to, um, it took me a while to find it. If you go to the select title, if I go to character flair and legendary status, I now have legendary status. Because uh, I've technically finished the story with all of the classes. Uh, I haven't personally done the uh, Imperial Agent one. That's the last one I needed to do. And the Warrior one I haven't done myself. Uh, that was because this game's been so long and I live with roommates. One of them actually uh, went through and played them. Um, so I haven't done the Agent or the Sith Warrior. Uh, I'm currently doing the Sith Warrior and the Sith Agent. 
uh, storyline is going to be coming up next. Uh, but yeah, so now I get I get this cool legendary outfit for technically finishing on the story with all on the account with all of them, which is really cool. Look, Captain, I try not to get sentimental around you, but hear me out. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're my family, as much or more than the one the Separatists took. As long as I live, I'll be here to serve you and your children after if I last so long. I wouldn't want to try any of this without you. You're a good friend, Captain. And seriously, keep that children thing in mind. You've got too many talents not to pass them on. Every kid needs an uncle who's good with a DXR6 heavy carbine. <laughs> All right, so let's accept that. So that'll be the end of Corso. So that means I just got why here. I just got the one left. Yes. So let's go talk to Risha and see what she has to say. And uh, hopefully, hopefully she has something good to say. Let's talk with Risha here. Things under Brilliant have taken a turn. The kings put a death mark on Count Ronald's head. When the citizens heard that, they rebelled. The king imposed martial law to stop the rioting, but that got the aristocracy riled up. The whole planet's going to war. Sounds like the Count's plan to avoid bloodshed by marrying you just went up in flames. We were never going to unseat the king without a fight. I just hope we'd pick the time and place. Needless to say, the Count has his hands full just staying alive. But even with all that's happened, he still wants to marry me. I can't keep putting him off. Any advice how I should play this? You can't marry the Count. You're spending the rest of your life with me. What? I asked you for advice, not... Do you really mean that? Oh, perfect. Time's up. That's him calling on the Hollow. All right. Let's do this. Merit, I'm glad you're safe. From what I hear, the fighting got worse after you escaped. I cannot spare De Brilliant from war, but perhaps we can still create a better future together. I realize forging a true relationship takes time, and our marriage won't be consummated for some time, but I am hopeful. My proposal stands, dear Risha. Will you marry me? Come on, this is a no-brainer. I'm sure he's rich, handsome, and popular, but I'm me. I'm sorry, Merritt. But I can't argue with logic like that. <laughs> He's had my heart longer than you. I hope we can still be friends. I'll need you to rebuild our world when the war ends. Of course. I look forward to the day you grant me amnesty, so I may return to Debrillion. Farewell, Risha. May the stars watch over you. That ended better than I expected. Except for that whole part with my world being at war. You said no to the Count's proposal. But I seem to recall you had a second offer on the table. It's under consideration. I promise not to keep you waiting for long. That's enough politics and relationship issues for one day. Let's go steal something expensive. I always feel better after a good caper. <laughs> All right, so let's accept that. Oh, we even leveled up to level 49. Oh, what actually? I think it's level 51. We got our new combat scout. Yeah, not until level 51. Not for a little bit. Okay, so let's go talk with Risha over here. Where are we? There we go. Didn't think you could still surprise me, but proposing in front of Count Reneld, that was a whammy. I wasn't sure if you were serious then, but I am now. And my answer is yes. Whatever happens, however long it takes, when I'm finally Queen of Debrillion, you'll be my king. It's about blasted time you came around. Do you have any idea how many beautiful women I turned away to have you? <laughs> Call me vain, but I hope it was thousands. We'll have a royal wedding someday, but let's do something personal right now. I, Risha Dreyan, take you as my future king. I promise to be faithful and always apologize when I get snippy with you. Except when you're wrong. What you said, plus this. 
I'll never skim more than 10% off the royal treasury. Only 10%? You really do love me. What do you say we make this even more official? Whoa. So, how does it feel to be married? Come to my quarters this time. I've made some modifications for you. How can I resist that offer? You never told me you were an engineering genius. I'm staying in the captain's quarters from now on. It occurs to me that with the Void Wolf dead, we've run out of trouble. Let's go make more. <laughs> All right, so let's end that. So now me and Risha, she's definitely my romantic uh, character here. That's that uh, romancing. Let's see what she has to say now. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately, and I had a funny realization. Every scenario I see, you're in it. I guess that's only right, all things considered. But still, never thought I'd get this close to anyone. Oh, always flirt if you have the flirt option. That kind of talk makes me want to turn out the lights and put up a do not disturb sign. It's funny you should mention that. I've been considering a related topic. When we take over Debrillion, we'll need to start thinking about producing an heir. Maybe more than one heir. That's how dynasties stay healthy, after all. The more the merrier. I'll put the little scoundrels to work building me a new ship. Great idea. Father taught me all about starships when I was growing up, and I turned out great. Just think, someone with my intelligence and your reflexes, there's nothing that child couldn't accomplish. We owe it to Debrillion. Whatever happens, I promise any child of ours will have the best of everything. Alright, so let's accept that. I think that's the end of that. Did we get a new login thing? Login rewards? Okay, uh, Galactic Seasons. Oh yeah, we got a couple, couple seasons now. Awesome! Uh, a couple levels uh, of the seasons here. That's awesome. So let's uh, exit that for now, though. Um, so Crystal Ball, so that's all my companions. We finished with them all. Everyone's happy. Everything's awesome. So yeah, let's see uh, what we can do here. So Ilum is the next kind of like story stuff uh, we could do. I don't think I'm going to do that uh, right now. So that's actually... You know, it's been a million years since I've done a Flashpoint. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's 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 see if we can join the queue for a flashpoint. I'm not sure. I'm actually kind of curious on how long it takes to do flashpoints and stuff nowadays. How the queue works are for that. Also, there's man modification stations. Do people still use those? That down there. All right, veteran. Do I want to do vet? Is there a different level? I guess there's only one level. So let's join. Now, what are the difference between so those war zones? You're still there with a group, work together. Arenas. Oh, that's just doing certain arenas in the Galactic Starfighter. You know what? Let's join the queue for those also. Yeah, let's see if we can let's see if we can get something to pop here. Here we go. We got a PvP match. Let's enter that. I haven't done PvP on this character at all. I kind of I don't mind uh, PvP in in Star Wars: The Republic. And now that we got uh, Galactic Seasons, but the only way to get um, the Galactic Season, if I remember correctly, is. Or the, the PvP season is you actually have to get uh, objectives. You have to do these objectives in order to get that stuff, I believe. That's one pylon. Let's see here. Also, I'm curious on how a a sniper works in PvP. Uh, 
Clearly not well. Clearly not well. I can provide you with whatever the missions you require. Okay. Any missions I need to do? Sure, let's accept this mission. And she has to uh, interact with the Starfighter. I feel like you at least have missions here uh, to do things. What do we have these guys for? There we go. Got out of range. Bombs are synced. Get out of the blast radius. Why am I running so there we go. I was like, why am I running so slowly? I'm still going pretty slowly, but that's okay. It's all over. Alright, well we've well, completed a war zone. <laughs> I did a whole no damage. Oh, I got one kill, and I got one um, thing here. So let's actually see. Apparently, I got a kill. Cool. I'll take that. <laughs> All right. So let's exit this. Oh, I didn't. Even, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's like a, if you get a kind of a, um, a help with the kill or something like that. Let's actually see if that. Did anything here? No, I didn't. Uh, didn't do anything, but I did do uh, this one. So uh, essentially, to unlock these, you have to get the points. So war zones combatants have to do eight war zones, earn seven medals uh, in, uh, earn at least seven medals in war zones. Uh, three war zone matches, one arena matches, one earn at least seven medals in arena so you can still do it so say say you you know you're you're not the best like say you're like me you're not the best and you're not really getting medals so you still have uh warzone matches one uh warzone matches played um the area arena matches one and arena matches played so you're still able to get that without even doing really good yourself even if you're just you're just part of a team that's doing good uh so that's good i, I like that Let's actually see if we can get an arena then. Or a starfighter. Or you know what? Let's join a queue for that too. Okay, we found a flashpoint. So let's uh actually gonna decline that. Just because that was all a whole bunch of DPS. And I know uh from the past, getting a bunch of DPS into a flashpoint is not a good plan. You need to have a healer and a tank. Because it usually does not go well. Sure, let's do war. War of PvP too. I would really like to level up one more time. Because I believe at 50 I can start doing... Um, I believe at level 50 I could start doing uh, Flashpoint. Or sorry, uh, Operations. I haven't actually done operations in this game. So I'd love to do some operations. Also, I am definitely planning uh, to find some time to do uh, events with you guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, either uh, mornings or evenings uh, kind of a thing. I think that would be a lot of fun to get together uh, with a group of people to uh, join and, and do that. Oh, there we go. Uh, an arena match. Okay, that's kind of what I was hoping for. So we get the, the mission to do an arena match. Again, arena, mat arena matches are, I believe, just like four on four. What do I get from doing this anyways? Okay, so I do get some items that are not as good as I currently have. But, hey, I get some items. Experience and credits and stuff like that. Welcome to Garota the Hutt's Arena of Death! I'm your Deathmaster, Baron Deathmark! Two teams have been assembled at random 
rotworms, and frog dogs. First team to destroy the other team wins each round. Once you're down, you're out until the round's over. Who will be the winners? Who will be the corpses? Audience, <laughs> place your bets. All right, well, we have a healer. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. Or at all, that'd be nice too. Oh, 19 seconds. Still a long time to wait. We we clearly have uh, a group set up. Uh, why is it taking so long to get into it? There we go. Get in there and go first, Stick together. Oh, ouch. Push me off. That, that's not fun. There we go. Let's do this. Put that shield on me here. Damage over time. Ouch, 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 ouch. Man, I, I am the first one to die. <laughs> of course I am. I am definitely not very good at PvP in this game. Well, I feel like I did some damage. We have to look at the scores and stuff while you're doing this. Frog dog down! Frog dog nope, down! Frog dog down. I mean, their sniper seems to be doing all right. How are you doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> and victory is not ours. Rotworms rack up a score. That round belongs to the Rotworms. All right. Well, I did uh very little damage. All right, so let's uh, try to do it some more. We can do better this time. Time for another round. Time for pain. I may have to look up how to do. PvP with a sniper. I'm down the f I'm down again. Oh no. Alright, how does the rest of my team do? I also might be the lowest level here. 
78, 52, 48. Okay. I'm not even the lowest level. <laughs> not even the lowest level here. You can see that rodworm's kill from space. What's next here? Bamo! That rotworm was born to kill frog dogs. <laughs> born to kill a farm dogs. I love just that. obliterated a frog dog. That round belongs All right. to the rotworms. Overall, again, uh, though not. Well, I mean, the worst damage. You you're you're doing more healing. Play again oh, we we're done it. Okay. We're done it. Okay, cool. Let's see what we get for this. Accepting. We get a bunch of little items. Some credits. All right, so that's a PvP with a sniper. Definitely something that I am uh, not good at. But hey, we got it done. Um, we did. We did it. We did it. And that's really all you can. All you you can uh, can uh, kind of uh, hope for. But yeah, so that's kind of the the cleanup episode uh for our our sniper here so yeah so the plan for uh my star wars stuff going forward is uh i've got my sith warrior uh we're gonna be finishing up i've got an agent i'll be doing the storyline with after that now, the agent will be a pre-recorded series uh, so that will be replacing my smuggler here and then after that uh i definitely want to continue on uh to the main stories with someone i'm not sure who exactly i'm going to pick yet but uh, maybe you guys can help me with that decision but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today uh hopefully you enjoyed our smuggler let's play with uh acro Kerr here and uh yeah as always until next time keep your stick on the ice